Poker, in its essence, is literally a game of exploitation. Your whole purpose is to find out what your opponents are doing wrong and then to exploit them on that. Now, generally speaking, the way that you do this is you're gonna be wanting to do the opposite of what everybody else is doing at the table. Or if there's just a single player, you wanna do the opposite of what they're doing too much of. Uh, here's an example. If there's a player that's playing too loose, they're playing too many hands, their hands are not gonna be strong enough a lot of times because they're playing so many hands you can tighten up your range and play stronger cards and you can punish him you can put a lot of pressure on his hands you'd be raising him and betting at him showing a lot of aggression with strong cards and he, he can't really counter that with how weak his, his range is. If you actually swap it, let's say a player is playing too tight, they will only, only play premium hands. They'll only put money in the pot when they actually have a hand. When players are doing this, you can actually start widening your range and do the opposite. You do literally the opposite of what they are doing here. You punish them for playing too tight. You just start betting at pots when you know that they didn't connect with this, those board textures. You wanna do what you can to just counter all the mistakes that the other players are making. Now, here's a huge part that a lot of players really struggle with. Most people have a hard time identifying the actual mistakes that most players make. In fact, it's even worse. Most players don't even know how to analyze their own game and know which mistakes they're making. What I would challenge you to do is start trying to get a little bit outside of your version of poker and start actually trying to look and, and identify the patterns of, certain, of all the players at your table and really get clear about what are the mistakes they're making? What are they doing too much of or too little of? And then once you can identify actually what the mistakes are, that's whenever you can actually start making plans to exploit them. But what I find is a lot of players, they actually don't know what the other players are doing wrong. So they just keep trying to play a strong game, which is fine, you, you do wanna play fundamental. But if you actually wanna start getting ahead in live cash, even like on online, but especially in live cash games, I believe that exploitation Exploitative poker is just so ideal, even more so than GTO. I think in live poker, there's so many mistakes that are made and you can actually take advantage of those mistakes, but you first have to be able to identify them. So in future videos, I'm gonna talk about what to look for and the common mistakes that a lot of players are making. You also wanna make sure that you analyze your own game and be aware of the mistakes you might be making. When you can identify those, you're gonna know what other players will be doing to exploit you. Anyways, stay tuned, cheers.